Good afternoon everybody, it's Chuck again. Uh, welcome back. Today we're going to uh, again do another another exploit but this time inside of Metasploit we're going to take a quick look at Armitage. Uh, take a look at uh, the GUI interface of Metasploit itself. Um, before we get started though, I do want to, to kind of put a, a huge shout out to all of my veteran friends, uh, ones that, that have served or that are uh, still serving. Um, hope you're having a, a great Veterans Day. Um, give it a couple of minutes. I'm about 70%. Uh, I've got a, a video I'm uploading to the channel. Um, this just a little, a little thank you from from me and uh, uh, my daughter's school. Uh, some some songs that they sang today for Veterans Day, and my son's high school, uh, and the band that he's in at high school, and some songs that they played. So check out that video. Um, it'll be up by the time this one's up. Uh, I think you're you're really gonna gonna enjoy it um, and a uh, again another huge shout out to uh, whoever did a fan fund uh, for me I, I really really appreciate that I love putting these videos out for you guys um, and every little bit helps uh, for for this type of stuff but we're gonna jump right on into this thing we're gonna take a look at Armitage um, now there's really no setup that you have to do uh, to run Armitage. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and launch my command prompt. Now to run Armitage you do still have to start um, your SQL Server. Um, um, so let me start that. And you do have to start Metasploit. Oops, I spell it right. And I really don't even have to. Yeah, I, there we go. And but I'm not going to go in now and do the MSF console. Now I'm just going to type in Armitage. And we're just going to wait for that for a minute. And what's going to happen? is it is going to come up with a, uh, a connect box. Now, you can keep the settings. You don't have to change them. So just click on connect. It's going to tell you an RPC server is not running. Would you like to set it up? Tell it yes. It will start building. and you are going to be dropped into the Armitage screen. Now, it's broken up into three different sections. Over here, we basically have our entire database. These are all of our auxiliaries, our exploits, our payloads, and our, our um, post explorations. Um, these are just some machines that it's automatically found, and you are dropped into the MSF prompt right down here at the bottom. Okay, some really cool things that this can do. Uh, let's say I drill in through auxiliary. And I'm going to take a look. Maybe I just want to sniff my network. So I'm going to go to sniffer. Uh, I'll tell you what, do we want to sniff? No, let's scan first. I'm going to go to my scanner. And see there's tons of scanners in here. We're going to do a port scan here in just a little bit. Maybe I want to take a look at SMB. And I'm, I'm wondering about my SMB version. Well, to, to run this, you just have to double click it. And it's going to come up with all the options that uh, you need. So I need to put in my remote host. So you just double click where the value's at. Now, these are really the only two machines I want. 
so I'm just going to put in uh, 1044, and I'll do a little bit more. I'll do like, because um, if I find more, I'll show you how to remove them. Uh, 190 through 205. Okay. And I'm going to launch it. Now, and I launched this for a reason. Sometimes, see, it will automatically set things for you. And this is the one that I set up. Every now and again, you may get that something failed to validate. Well, you may have to do some Google searching and things like that. There is an advanced setting uh, that doesn't always work inside of Armitage. And I did find that setting to be, there's something called SMB Direct. It's supposed to be set to true, but for some reason inside of here, it, it will fail. Well, I can just change it. If I go down here to the bottom, and if I type in just set SMB Direct True, Okay. Now I've just passed another um, uh, another option to it, and now I can tell it to just go ahead and run. Now it will run. What it's doing is going to start scanning that range. Okay, and it came back and it told me. There you go, 1044.199 is running Windows XP Service Pack 3. 1044.202 is running Windows 7 Enterprise SP1 Build 7601. The name of the machine and the domain it belongs to. Now, of course, it would have found, if it would have found more machines, they would show up here in the box also. I've only got these two virtuals running. But if it would have found more machines, they would show up here. So that's just one thing we can do. Now, so of course, we can take it a, a step further. And now we can start doing things like, how about um, a port scan? Well, I can select these machines just by you know, drawing a box around them. Oops, you got to make sure you get all the machines. It'd be a box around them. And maybe I want to do a TCP scan. Well, if I double click it, you see with them being selected, it automatically puts their IPs in the host. And I can just launch it. It will open up another window. And there we go. It's going to tell me the ports that are open. There we go. They're finished. If I want to know more information about a particular machine, now that I've ran this scan, I can just right-click on the machine, and I can go to Services. That will open up another window of all the services, the names, and the information of that one machine. Of course, I can do that for either machine. Okay. So, let's go one more step further and we'll actually um, run a exploit on uh, let's say the XP box, the the great little exploit that we ran in our, our last video. So I'm going to pick my XP box. And let me close these to make it a little bit easier. And we're going to do a Windows exploit. We're going to do an SMB exploit. There's all of our exploits. Well, remember the one that we ran was MS08067. That one right there. Everything's already set. 
I can tell it to launch. Okay. The icon will change when you have now nailed the machine. Now there's the exploit back in the console window I'm at the my MSF prompt, but there is the exploit. What I can do with this, now that I've had the exploit, now that I right click it, log in, gain access, escalate privileges, steal the tokens, dump the hashes. Hey, how about that? Why don't I dump the hashes? There's all my hashes. Administrator hash, guest, the malloc. So now I have all my hash files. Now, to make this even cooler, we can daisy chain from one machine to the next. Now, these are in work groups. To really daisy chain, it needs to be in a domain. Because what I would do is I would get the administrator, I would break this hash, get the password, and then I would connect to this machine using the administrator's username and password that I retrieved from here. The way you would do that is I could select this machine, right click it, and log in using the PS executable. That's where it will ask for the username and the password. Now the domain will be right. You know, it's, it's the domain that you're, you're scanning across. So let's say that this was a domain. Of course, the administrator password is going to work over all the domain. Not true in a work group, but in a domain it will. So I will put in let's say that we have retrieved this username and password from here and we're in a domain by putting that in the box and passing everything else over to them I'm gonna launch it and watch what happens I am now in that box So now, both of these boxes, that's my interpreter session number two, where I can interact with it with a command prompt, I can browse files, I can log their keystrokes, screenshot, webcam shot, you know, screenshot, there it is, there's my XP box, I mean my Windows box. Uh, let's see, I could do ARP scanning. So I can actually select two and do a, well, I can do a regular ARP scan. I can even do an ARP poison. I can get a command shell from them. BNC session. I probably run out of memory for the whole VNC session, but it's okay. But whatever you want to do, you can pass off inside of here. Again, I can drop to a command shell. That's, of course, on this box. So, there's the directory. And just to show you, there's a directory called Snow right there. And there's a directory called Snow right there. Like this. Oops. Just created a new directory. So, play with Armitage. It's got some great stuff inside of here. It's it's basically nothing more than the MSF console 
but it is a um, just a GUI interface to help you with the exploits. This is a great way to learn the exploits, you know, even uh, like things like post uh, exploration things where we can capture stuff, we can do recon. Yeah, there's your key logs. The great thing about the post is uh, the post things are really just double clicks. You just double click them and you launch them. You see, it's running as a, as a background job. So, you know, as the user starting to do things, of course, you know, whatever they're doing. Uh, and of course the session died because I, I started the VNC sessions, I expected that. But with that running, as the user's typing stuff, we can let that key logger run as long as we want to, and then we can dump it off to us. So, play around with Armitage. Uh, there's, again, there's no setup to doing it. Um, a little bit different in, in 2016. Uh, you do have to start another database in the beginning of 2016. Uh, but in this version that I'm running here, at version 1.1, I don't have to worry about doing it. Uh, but it gives you a nice little GUI interface uh, to play around with stuff. So, there we go guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll run through some more of these uh, things. You know, things that we don't get to play around with too much is like parsers and um, and vSploits. Um, and I am going to start creating some on uh, MSF Venom. Uh, that we can start playing around the side of that stuff too. But this is a great one to play with. Um, and you can always go to a, a Offensive Security uh, that has uh, some pretty nice little tutorials on Metasploit fundamentals and exploit development and client side attacks. Uh, it's, that's one of my go-to sites for uh, for things. So anyway, Hope you enjoyed playing around with uh, Armitage, and uh, I will see you guys uh, again very soon. And again, if you like the videos, give it a, a cool little thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, you know, let me know if there's anything you want to see. I'll be glad to uh, post it for you. Alright, again, happy Veterans Day to all you guys out there, all you men and women out there, and uh, until next time.